morning, yeah, good morning. So what was your name? Atala Aishwarya. Aishwarya. Okay. So can I have your resume? Okay, Aishwarya. Yes. So quickly, quickly introduce yourself. Hi. Uh, good morning, sir. First of all, I will thank you for this wonderful opportunity to brief myself. Myself, Aishwarya. I am from Hyderabad. And uh, coming to my educational background, I have completed my graduation in uh, Vishweshwaraya College of Engineering and Technology in the stream of Civil Engineering. And I have completed my diploma in the TKR College of Engineering and Technology in the stream of Civil Engineering. I have completed my SSC in CLRZPHS, Jilalgura, uh, with a GP of 8.7. And uh, coming to my skills, uh, I know uh, Python, Django, and um, web development. Web development. Okay. So you have not mentioned about your hobbies? So uh, my hobbies are cooking and learning, listening to mythological stories. Mythological stories. Okay, then. Okay, good. So I think uh, your technical skills are Python. Yes. And web technologies. Yes. Web technologies, which tools you are learning in web technologies? HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In JavaScript. Okay. So can you rate about yourself in Python? How, can, um, how much can you rate yourself? Four. 4 out of 5 or 4 out of 10? 4 out of 5. 4 out of 5. That's okay. It is a very confident answer. Yes. Okay. So can I have my uh, interview in Python questions? Yeah, yes. Okay. So uh, you said 4. That means you are good in Python. You yeah, are. Yes. Okay. Have you taken any coaching anywhere? Yes. Yeah, I have taken coaching in ManiQ software. Okay. Then. Okay. So first of all, uh, spell with the definition of Python. Python is a scripting language and a high level language and it is dynamically timed and it is a uh, combination of scripting and procedural language. It is easy to debug and easy to use. It is a userly friendly uh, platform okay. and it supports OOPS, OOPS concept also. Support OOPS concepts. So which concepts are OOPS? Uh, four principles, uh, abstraction, encapsulation, polymorphism and uh, inheritance. Okay, that means it supports OOPS concept you mentioned here. Is, is the Python is OOPS, OOPS language? No sir, it is scripting language and procedural language but it supports only OOPS concept. So why? So can you justify your answer? Why Why it supports OOPS concept? Even though it is not from the uh, OOPS, con OOPS language, yeah. so completely it is from the another side of uh, programming language like scripting languages. Yeah. So why it, su why should, it should support scripting because, uh, like OOPS concepts? Because Python is scripting language. So it doesn't uh, have any security. So by using the uh, OOPS concept, it will provide the safety for that our code to debug uh, to uh, anyone gets hacked to by the our programs. Okay, so simply you can say it is a hybrid programming hybrid. language and user friendly language for for proving it is user friendly language, providing all the securities and all the uh, features and functionalities that should need for a application development. Yeah, okay. So okay, well, okay, so it's well. So, uh, like, uh, so do you know anything about uh, data types in Python? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, so how many data types we are having in Python? Five types of data types, sir. Uh, they are uh, number, number data types, set, boolean, and uh, collection of data types. Collection of data types, that means sequence type of data types. Yeah, dictionary also. Yeah, dictionary is good. So, uh, what is sequence type of data? They are, uh, they are consist, uh, it is a group of characters. Uh, if they are consist of list, tuple, and string. List, tuple, and, and string. string. So, is a set, is it is not a sequence type of data? No, sir. Why? Because it is unordered and uh, it, uh, it it consists of two types in the sets. They are set and frozen set. The difference between the set and frozen set is a uh, uh, set is mutable and uh, frozen set is. Uh, immutable, both are uh, unordered. Just because the feature of unordered uh, or nothing but property of unordered for unordered sequence of elements or arrangement of elements, so it is not uh, considered as a sequence of data. Okay, so can you differentiate about list and tuple? Differentiate. Uh, whereas uh, list is consists of list tuple and string. List consists of list square brackets and it is modifiable which can uh, which uh, performs all the modification uh, operations like uh, delete pop uh, extend append etc and uh, list uh, performs uh, slow because of all operations it accepts uh, whereas tuple it is immutable 
and where the uh, execution process is faster than compared to the list. So double fast, double execution is faster. Why? Because it is a fixed sequence of data. Okay, why it is a fixed sequence of data? Why double is a fixed, fixed sequence of data? You already mentioned. Because it is an immutable sequence yeah, of data. Yeah. Okay, that means we cannot perform any manipulation operation. That means we cannot add, add, add any new elements to the sequence of list or uh, remove some elements or uh, replace some elements. Okay, that's what. Okay, good. Okay. So, what is Python comments? Why, why it was used? Uh, well, uh, Python, uh, in Python, we use comments to brief the code uh, because uh, by using the, uh, uh, sorry, uh, in comments, we use uh, ash uh, as a comment, uh, which means uh, interpreter doesn't execute uh, when the ash is uh, attached to that code. So, I, uh, we use in uh, single line comments and multi line comments, whereas single line comments is represented with the ash and multi line comments is represented with the triple single quotes. Triple single quotes. Triple double quotes too. Yeah. It is an executable sequence of that. Logic. Okay, the interpreter won't execute that logic that we pr pr that we put in inside a comments. Either it may be single lines or multiple lines. Okay, good. I was satisfied with the answer. So uh, I think. Uh, so what was your favorite concept in Python? Favorite concept. Lambda functions. Lambda functions. Okay. So can you tell me uh, tell me something about lambda functions? Lambda function is an anonymous function which which uh, which consists of single expression but it can contain many number of parameters or arguments but we can write, uh, write in a single expression okay as we can we can perform only single expression for the n number of arguments that we pass okay good okay as we are discussing about the lambda function this is about the lambda function so uh, can you tell me how many types of functions we are having and what is the first of all and uh, tell me what is the first of all uh, what is the definition for functions? Function. Function. Uh, function is. Uh, okay, let me stop it then. Types of functions. Types of functions is required functions, default functions, and um, uh, keyword functions and recursion. Recursion function and lambda functions too. Function. And one more function you have missed. Four functions. One more function you have missed. Out. Argumented functions. Oh, okay. Argumented functions. Quarts and args. Keyword arguments and required uh, arbitrary arguments. Arbitrary. Good. Okay. So, uh, we are in a track of functions. Okay. So, what is the main difference between a function and a method? Uh, function is independent and a function doesn't require object. And a function is uh, uh, executes faster. And uh, whereas uh, coming uh, function does not doesn't require the self implicit argument, and whereas the method method is dependent on the class and it requires object and it is a uh, very slow process and it is um, it requires self argument. It requires a self as input. Good. Okay. Uh, so then presentation is very good, very well and all, fair and all. Okay. So then. Uh, can you tell me about the string? String string is a uh, nothing but group of characters. It is immutable. It performs all the methods, functions, and operations. Representation. Uh, Represented in a uh, single quotes or double quotes. Yes, yes. okay. Then good. So uh, just okay. So just we are uh, dealing with uh, strings and all, okay, data types and all. So now I wanted to ask you about uh, we have uh, we have dealt with all the concepts of Python till now, okay, a few of the concepts. So now I wanted to uh, know about uh, how the code inside a Python will execute. So what is the main thing that is present inside a Python that will execute the code? How it will get executed? Uh, we, firstly, we type the source, we give the source of code that is py5. Then the compi Python compiler works, then it converts into the bytecode, byte code. it is pyc file and then uh, converts to the pvm means python virtual machine that is machine code, then the processor will uh, execute the uh, out output. Okay, what is the main thing that makes all this operation? Interpreter. Interpreter, okay, it's not interpreter, it's pvm. So instead of pvm, we will have interpreters, okay, so python. 
virtual machine. It is the execution engine we can call and execute and executor is interpreter. Okay. So what is the execution engine inside Python? Interpreter, what is the execution inside Python? Interpreter or PVM? Interpreter. Interpreter or PVM? PVM. Okay, it's not it was the executor is interpreter. Okay. So PVM is a process. Process. So can you know uh, do you know anything about the memory locations in Python uh, memory uh, arrangements in Python? Heap space. Um, what is the memory area we are having? Heap space. Only heap space. Doesn't we are having any stakes? Sorry, sir, I don't have yeah. that much okay, knowledge that on that. Okay, then. Okay, so Python is ha having only automatic uh, heap space area. Okay, and uh, it is not having any stakes. So because it is not having any so uh, JIT compiles in it. So stakes means so uh, the ex the code will be executed single steps in other programming language like Java and all. But in Python, the code executes in run line by line form. The for that thing, so what is stakes means last in first order, L A, last in first, first order L I, F I F I, L I F O, LIFO, last in first order. So for executing uh, LIFO, we need to we need stakes. But uh, we are not having any LIFO uh, architecture in Python. That's why we don't need any stakes. So we are having only one memory area is heap area. Okay, good. Okay, so what should we go with another questions? So can I ask some questions in uh, oops? No, you are not confident in oops. Yeah. Okay then. Like, uh, so uh, what is a recursion function? It is a one type of function which we don't uh, have have the uh, output uh, accurately. It will give an error in the certain limit. There was a limit to, to run the program. If the behind that limit, it will give the error. Yeah. Okay. So we no, don't need to call n number of times. Yeah. That's what the code unit is spelled out. Okay. So uh, you hear something about control structures in programming Python yes. programming. Yes. So what is control structures and what type of control structures we are having in Python? Uh, the we are having two types of control statements. There are conditional and the looping statements are uh, uh, in the conditional statements there are three types simple if statement and if elif and elif ladder and next coming to the loops uh, in, uh, for loop and um, while loop and nested for loop nested for loop okay doesn't we are having nested if conditions sir nested if nested if uh, uh, if the condi uh, if the for loop having any uh, no, no, I was asking about yeah, nested if not nested for loops. Nested if uh, yes, sir, we are having nested if it is condition. Just uh, when we have an uh, multiple uh, conditions, we will perform yes. that. Writing uh, condition inside a condition, writing yeah. block of conditions inside a single condition is called nested if. Okay, good. So I will go with my last uh, question. Okay. So what is the difference between for loop and while loop? For loop and a while loop. Uh, when we don't know the iterations, we uh, in that situation we use while loop. Mm -hmm. And we know the iterations, then we will use the for loop. Okay then. So jumping statements? Yes. Break and continue. We are having two types of break and continue. Uh, break is used when to uh, break the iterations. And when conti uh, continue is used in the situation of uh, uh, when the skip the current uh, iteration, then to move to the next iteration. Okay, then good. So, sorry, what your name? Aishwarya. Tala Aishwarya. Aishwarya. Okay. So, Aishwarya, so uh, definitely it's a good performance. Definitely impressive performance. And I think I was uh, done with my set. Are you having any questions for me? No, sir. Okay, then. Then, uh, okay, we will reach you and all the best. Yeah.